All right, guys, what's going on? It's AJ More 2000. Today, um, I'm making this video to answer a couple questions that I've been getting in my uh, Discord DMs, in my Twitter DMs, and so on. Um, and that question is, how do I register for a Smash GG event, or how do I find specific information on a Smash GG event? Okay. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that you guys understand how to register for an event first and then answer a couple other questions that I've also got. These questions regard the date and time of the event. Some of these questions regard the prize pool of the event. And some of them also regard where you guys can find the rules for the event. Now, some of these questions we'll be answering probably through the registration part. But either way, let's go ahead and get started and um, hopefully you guys enjoy Um, so the first thing that I always recommend before you go ahead and register for a Moose Wars or for any other Brawlhalla Smash GG event is that you guys go ahead and read the homepage thoroughly. Alright, you guys don't want to miss any information that tournament organizer is trying to make sure you understand. We're going to go ahead and we're going to be basing this off of Moose Wars 29. So for Moose Wars, we have, um, we do tournaments every single weekend and this is probably the most up-to-date tournament page. Uh, that I would recommend you guys use as a reference for if you're going to go ahead and figure out how to register or go side by side with me as well. Um, so the link for this tournament will be in the description. Um, and how I usually recommend people to go ahead and go through a Moose Force event would be to go ahead and read the homepage, right? So the homepage for this event has basic tournament information on top. It shows the event. It shows what type of event it is. Is it online? Is it a local? Um, what region it's set on, what stream it's on, what date will this event start, and the time usually, along with the prize pool for the event. Now, for our events, we go ahead and do usually $100 1v1s for Sundays, and then a 2v2 $50 event on Mondays, which may change in the future, but that's how, we, that's how this event is going to be happening. Um, we also make sure uh, that everyone understood that Mako is not legal for this event. Now, a couple people might be questioning why is a Brawlhalla character not allowed in a Brawlhalla tournament? Well, in tournament, usually what happens is when a character is released, they're not directly allowed in tournaments. The reason why is because when a character is released, they have all of these uh, kinks and issues that need to be patched uh, in the next update. And usually once that second update comes out, usually characters allowed in tournaments. That's how we're going to be doing it for Moose Wars events. A couple other TOs may have changed that uh, based off of what their opinion is on that specific character. Um, but for this event, since there hasn't been a second bounce patch yet, Mako is not legal. Okay. So that's the basic information. That's one thing that you guys really need to know. The second thing you guys also really need to know is the rule book that... If you scroll down, it should be there, okay? So it, it may be hard, it may be, uh, hard to uh, find it. I know a couple people have had a rough time trying to find the rule book. But usually if you scroll down the homepage, you pass the event, the attendee contact information or contact info and uh, admin section, you will find the rules page. Now this is different on each Smash 2G event. They may not be set up like this because you can actually change it based off of your preference or the tournament organizer's preference. But usually the rule book will be on the home page. Um, so the rule book basically has every single rule that you guys need to be following during an event. Now don't be stressed out by this. Usually a lot of these rules are there to prevent future issues from happening. Um, for example, like players disconnecting middle of a game and saying that they had to restart the whole match uh, and holding back a tournament by like 20 minutes uh, because they keep on resetting matches because they quote unquote lagged out. Stuff like that. Um, so just basically skim over it. Make sure you understand everything. Um, the main points I would recommend that you guys understand would be the tournament lobby settings. So once you make a custom room, you have to set the settings for the rooms to a specific way usually. Um, these will usually be the 2v2 or the 1v1 settings that Brahala has built into the game. If you guys can't find that, go ahead and go in your custom lobby uh, and make sure that everything like that is listed on that rule book is set on your tournament lobby, okay? So once you guys have that, 
make sure you guys understand legend stance and locking uh, I know a lot of people don't understand this too much um, usually a good amount of players don't really care for this uh, but there's always a couple people that do so make sure that you guys go along with it if they do care about that this current rule um, this comes down this happens a lot in official events because uh, players bring up like hey they choose their character before me and I'm higher or I'm a certain seed yeah yeah yada um, and so on and so forth um, I would also recommend reading Stabbers of Time, Interruption Game. This can vary based off the tournament organizer. For the official rulebook, it's 10 seconds. Um, I had done a couple tournaments in the past where it has been 15. This is first 10 seconds there for this current tournament. Um, and also, make sure you go ahead and understand the player behavior section, okay? Player behavior, basically, uh, TLDR, that would be to... Uh, respect other players and tournament moderators or organizers during the event, uh, even if you are getting mad at the situation, okay? Um, but either way, we have that information there. You also can find out the prizing information below the rulebook um, for at least a Moose Wars event, maybe not in another tournament section or another tournament page. Uh, if this is not the case for your event make sure you guys go ahead and select the event that you're trying to sign up for before you sign up for it and you check the pricing below um below the standings on the event homepage. okay that should be there it'll also have the standings and then this is where you guys can also find the brackets for a smash cg tournament this is also very needed so you guys can go ahead and find when your next matches are and where you guys can find other matches that are going on in the tournament. Usually what would happen is it would be like above summary if you have a match up. But yeah, that's usually how it usually works. If you guys don't see it here, usually there's like a tab above home that basically helps you out there as well. But with that being said, uh, I think we're pretty much good. You guys read the home page. We went over the home page. We went over the, uh, the rule book and whatnot. And uh, now we can go ahead and register for the event. So now you guys know all that information. There should be a blue small box there right uh, in the middle left, I would say, when you get on the home page. And that would be to register now. It should be in blue lettering. It should be above the date. And if this event is online or at the location, click that blue register button, okay? Now, what I always recommend, once you guys um, are at this point, if you guys do not already have a Smash TG page, Go ahead and back out of the registration and make a Smash GG page uh, or Smash GG account. I'm sorry. Uh, the reason why is because for some reason when people register for a uh, event on Smash GG and they do it, uh, they they make their account through the registration. A lot of times it glitches out and it tends to say like your country is not available, even though it may be the country like the United States or Canada. So make sure you go ahead and back out, and make a Smash GG account before you register. Go ahead and put some information in there. Um, and you should be good to go. All right, the most information they would ask for, I believe, is location. They're not gonna ex ask for your address. They're gonna ask for your uh, country and your state, if you're in the United States, or if you are in Canada or in a different country, just for the purpose of your Smash TG account uh, being more legitimate than a alt account and so on and so forth. They may also ask for your first and last name, depending um, if a tournament organizer needs it for tournament related issues as well. And we'll go find that information out here in a minute. But uh, once you guys go ahead and make your account, go to the registration. Um, usually you would have your, your account here. Now, if you guys are sponsored or if you guys do have an organization that you guys represent, you guys can add a prefix to your name. Usually you can go ahead and click this uh, blue um, sentence where it says use custom prefix for this tournament and you can enter the prefix of that sponsor or organization. Uh, of course, I'm sponsored by Global Breakout, so I have their prefix GB, okay? That's why I have GB in front of my name. But if you guys don't have a sponsor, don't worry about that. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit, and now we get to select the events that we wanna sign up for, okay? So for this tutorial, or I guess step-by-step uh, -step video, we're gonna be just doing the 1v1s. If you guys need help with 2v2s, I can also help you guys out with that as well, just let me know in the comments if I need to make a 2v2 registration uh, video, I will as well. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and click the free button or the check mark next for the event 
Brahalla 1v1s, okay? So once we go ahead and select that, it's gonna ask for a platform you guys are playing Brahalla on. Are you guys playing it on PC, which is gonna be the uh, Steam version? Are you guys gonna be playing it on your Switch? Are you guys gonna be playing it on your Xbox or PlayStation at all? If so, um, select your platform. Of course, you have to have one to play in a tournament. Um, for mobile players, usually I wouldn't recommend joining with mobile. Uh, just because you're going to be going back and forth with Smash DG, this is going to cause a lot of issues with you, okay? I don't know, I believe the Smash DG page doesn't even support mobile yet. Hopefully in the future, though. Hopefully in the future, but... Um, once you go ahead and select your, um, your platform, go ahead and fill in the information that it requires. So for Xbox and PlayStation, um, they require your gamer tag. If you guys don't know your gamer tag for your PlayStation or Xbox, make sure you go ahead and grab it and insert this in these boxes and click submit. If you guys are on Switch, make sure you guys go ahead and put your friend code in this little box here as well. And if you guys are on Steam, you guys have something a little bit different. This is gonna be asking for you to connect to Steam. We're gonna be clicking on this blue button. I'm not gonna do it just because it pops up uh, with my personal email. So uh, once you guys go ahead and click the uh, connect to Steam button, you're basically asked to log into Steam. Uh, once you go ahead and do, what it's going to grab is going to grab your Steam username and your Steam um, your Steam ID that uh, tournament organizers need to go ahead and seed you for the event. Smash CG will not store um, any other information other than your Steam ID and your name. It'll display it for you as well, okay? Um, once you go ahead and do that, it's going to ask, as you can scroll down, it's going to ask for your contact information. Uh, you put your first and last name. Once again, it's going to be uh, used by tournament organizers for tournament-related issues. 99% of the time, if you're on an online Brahalla event, this will not matter, okay? So we're all good with that. Um, and usually, that would be it for a regular Brahalla event. However, you will run into events like mine where we require other information. Some of these examples might be your Twitter, Twitch, or Discord. Um, you may be required to do different things with those platforms. For example, with our stream, we want to make sure that you fully understand that we are streaming matches from this tournament on our Twitch page. We want to make sure that you understand um, and you guys can actually see that tournament being streamed. Uh, so we require you guys to follow us to make sure that you guys are aware of that. Uh, if you guys don't have a Twitch page, you guys can go ahead and contact me. I'll go ahead and manually invite you to the Smash GG page. Uh, we also require people to join our Discord. Um, Discord is definitely fully required because that is where we go ahead and do our announcements. Um, I know a bunch of other TOs use Discord as a requirement because of the fact they give all their announcements there, like maybe there's a delay by 15 minutes. They wanna make sure that you're aware of that uh, along with any other information they need to go ahead and give you. So make sure you guys go ahead and check to see if there's any other information on that Smash TG registration um, that you guys have to fill out before you continue. Usually it wouldn't even allow you to continue anyways um, if you didn't fill one of the required things out as well. So if you're able to continue, you're good to go. And once you go ahead and click continue, it's like requiring my Steam now and that, yeah. Once you go ahead and make sure everything is good to go, and that's what I was talking about earlier, it requires my Steam login. Uh, <laughs> There we go. And as you can see, it saves my Steam and Steam ID. But uh, once you guys go and do that, hit continue. And now it's going to go ahead and basically put you through a checkout. Okay. Now, of course, most Brawlhalla events are free. There's always a, there is actually like an event or two that does happen on Smash TG where you have to pay to get in. If so, you can pay the amount out. Uh, if not, uh, I wouldn't honestly recommend you guys join a paid sign up tournament unless it's like a really, really good tournament organizer that you have a lot of history with or that has a lot of history in the community. But yeah, you'll go to here, usually be free. You have to check the box that says you acknowledge that your registration goes to directly to the tournament organizer. I'm sorry, your registration and your payment goes directly to the tournament organizer. Uh, and that Smash G is not responsible for the deliverability of the quality of the tournament. So if a tournament organizer says, hey, you'll get this quality from this tournament, it's not Smash TG's responsibility. So once you go ahead and understand that, you hit the checkbox, uh, you go ahead and say that you acknowledge 
and you read and agree with the Smash G TOS. Do that. And then also there's this third box that people tend to forget, okay? So when you check this box like I just did, you understand that when you guys sign up for any tournament or this current tournament, uh, you agree to abide by the tournament rules set for the event. If broken, the moderation team will review what was broken and give the proper consequence. Work with us and we will work with you. This is on every single Smash DG event. Uh, basically says, hey, I agree with the rules once you guys register. Basically prevents the issue of someone not reading the rules before registering. It's an actual checkbox, you agree to it. And once you do that, go ahead and make sure you go through the verification and you can hit complete registration. Okay, so once you guys go ahead and do that, uh, you can go ahead and manage uh, your in registration. Of course, uh, you're not gonna need my email there. Usually some tournaments rep, like give you like a QR code you can scan. Uh, if you are doing this on mobile, uh, if you're on your PC and you wanna pop it up on your phone, you go ahead and scan it, we're good to go there. And it'll lead you right to check in. And yeah, usually you can update all your information even if it's wrong. You can like, let's say you had signed in with your wrong Steam account. You can go ahead and hit edit events. You can go ahead and change your Steam ID and so on and so forth, okay? So that being said, you're pretty much good to go. If you guys need to reference this information, you guys can go under the event that you registered. And usually you can see your matches up here. You can manage your registrations here. Um, if this is not available, there might be a tab above home that you guys can also click as well, okay? Um, usually on tournament day. But either way, hopefully this uh, registration video kind of helps you guys out in regards with registering for a Smash GG event. Um, if you guys have any more questions, I am available in Discord. Um, my Discord link will be below in the description along with all, all my other socials as well. And um, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will be doing uh, mo more tutorial videos in regards to Smash CG, including for some of the tournament organizers. We're going to be making you guys a tournament organizer uh, series, basically telling you guys what the Canadian Dead would recommend for you guys to set up for your tournaments, um, along with some other content like tournament highlights and so on and so forth. So, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.